Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bree and here on my channel, I do wig reviews, girl talk and product reviews. I also talk about um, my BBL experience. I answer all of your questions. I get a lot of DMs, emails and a lot of questions in my um in the comments below i also like to answer the questions on camera just in case someone else might have the same question um but today is not going to be a q a today is just going to be an updated video on my experience with seduction cosmetic because i thought it was over but no it was not y'all so stay tuned if you are interested in knowing what happened with me and seduction and how I got my money back for real this time, then stay tuned. So if you haven't seen my first video, I'll link it right here just in case you're interested in watching that first. But basically, I was scheduled with the, the Columbia team with Dr. Laura. I ended up finding out that Dr. Laura was no longer there in seduction. So I ended up canceling like 40 days before my surgery. By the time I canceled, I had paid them $4,000. This is where it gets crazy. So I canceled with them. And then um, right after that, y'all, I disputed it with my bank. I'm sorry, I disputed it with my credit card company. They already knew who I was dealing with. Like I said before, I did a lot of research. I kind of already knew that it was gonna be hard to get my money back. So I was like, I'm not gonna play these type of games. I'm gonna go ahead and dispute this right now. I'm not gonna wait. I did end up, um, so the first thing I did was email their refunds department. And mind you, I have I did not hear from them. Like I emailed them on April 28th and uh, I finally heard, or actually, I emailed them on April 28th, no response. I emailed them about two weeks ago and then they finally responded, letting me know that they were investigating, yada, yada, yada. I disputed it with my credit card company. And basically, I don't know what seduction sent them. Basically, they said that seduction sent them a contract stating that I was not able to get my, my money back, my 4K, right? Mind you, I didn't have my surgery there. So, y'all... <laughs> I blew a fuse. I'm like, hold on. Like, I didn't even get my surgery there. They just got $4,000 of my money. Like, what? Y'all tripping. I can understand the deposit, you know, non-refundable. Totally get it. But you're not going to keep $4,000. Like, that's, I'm not rich. <laughs> you know, you're not going to just keep $4,000 of my money. American Express, they ended up putting the $4,000 back on my card for me to pay back. So... Um, I called them again and I was like, this is unacceptable. I did not have my surgery there. According to my contract, it says if my surgery was canceled 30 days or more, I'm entitled to all of my money except for the deposit. So I don't know what contract they sent you, but this is my contract. So they opened up another case and I sent them a bunch of stuff. I sent them um, a declaration that I wrote personally. Basically, it was a Word document that I had typed out basically explaining everything that happened, dates, everything. I sent them screenshots between me and Olga, who was my coordinator at uh, Seduction. Those DMs basically showed that she told me that um, I had to choose a later date in order to get Dr. True, which I didn't want Dr. True to begin with. She told me if I wanted to have work done by Dr. True, it it would have to be it would have to be on June like 18th or something. But mind you, I had already booked my flight, my hotel, everything for June 7th. So I was like, mm, no, like you kind of messing up my plan. So just cancel my shit. Canceled it, and then like a week later, she DM'd me and was like, hey. Um, we have more room left. You can book whoever you want. And I'm like, no, it's too late. I already booked with somebody else. And I wish I would have gave me this option before I canceled. Anyway, so um, I sent them screenshots of the DMs between me and Olga. And then I also sent them my contract. And I also highlighted the contract, the cancellation part where it said, I was entitled to all of my money aside from the deposit. I sent them the contract, a declaration, the DMs, 
And I also sent them a copy of my refund, the email that I sent to the refund department. They never even responded. Like it, I sent them everything. Cause there's no way, there's no way legally, like that's not right. It's not ethical for you to keep all of that money when you haven't done anything. Seduction is so money hungry, y'all. It's so messy over there. It's so messy and unorganized. I'm not really trying to degrade the seduction, but they have so many bad reviews, y'all. Please do your research. They will nickel and dime you for every little thing, y'all. Then if you cancel, they will try to keep your money. Like, and I'm not the first one. Someone else on Instagram, I did ask her if I could share her story and she said yes. She canceled her surgery and they told her no, she can't get her money back. But she ended up disputing it again, just like I did, and she got her money back. Uh, she only got half of it. She's still waiting. I'm not sure if she got the other half, but I know for sure she got half of it back um, because she paid with two different cards. So she got money returned to one card, I believe. I personally would recommend that you go elsewhere. You can always go to my doctor. Nick is so much more organized. You can talk to somebody right then and there. You can even go in. Dr. Nassif, super cool, super funny, super handsome. I know Miami has a bad reputation when it comes to like a lot of clinics. It's hard to get in touch with anybody. Doctors are getting overbooked. It's completely normal in Miami. And that's just what it is. You just really gotta prepare yourself for the worst when you're going into the BBL industry in Miami because if you want like the whole one-on-one -on -one conversation, the one-on-one, -on -one, like if you want more attention, you want better aftercare, better relationship with your doctor. If you want the type of doctor that's gonna call you and check up on you and see how you're doing, you might as well pay that extra money and go to a private clinic because these other clinics, they're not like that. Even Dr. Nassif, like, yes, he is amazing. Like his work is phenomenal, but <laughs> Your girl ain't talked to him. I have not talked to Dr. Nassif. The last time I talked to him was surgery day. He didn't call me and check on me. No, he didn't. My coordinator did call me and check on me that same night, but they have not called me to check on me, to ask me any questions, nothing. You don't hear from them. So it's normal in Miami. My only thing with seduction is them keeping my money. I wouldn't even be making this video if it wasn't for them trying to keep my money. If they would've just handed me my shit, I wouldn't even be doing this video. Everything would be all good. You know, I wouldn't be trying to degrade them and telling y'all, like, I would just keep it to myself. But since they wanna try me, here we are. Like the doctors is cool, y'all. Dr. Abir, her work is phenomenal. She is aggressive with the lipo. Dr. Samson, he's like the BBL king over there seduction. And then you got Dr. Burton, he started to do really good. You know, I was skeptical about him at first, but I think he's starting to get the hang of it. Dr. Abir, oh, Amarante, he giving out ass over there too, y'all. So the doctors are cool, it's just the damn clinic. But I just wanted to do a little updated video on what happened with me and seduction. I finally got all my money back. Yes, I did. For those of you that are trying to get your money back from seduction, until 30 days or later, and they tell you that you can't get your money back, do not believe them. Fight it, okay? Fight it. Even if you have to dispute it with your bank or your credit card company or reach out to the attorney Seductions have a lot of lawsuits going on right now. And so there's an attorney general in Miami that's basically helping people like us. Need that information? <laughs> DM me on Instagram. I don't want to put it on here. So uh, yeah, you guys, I got my money back. Woohoo, y'all. <laughs> I wasn't going to pay them anyway. I was going to take that all the way to trial if I had to because I'm not paying y'all no $4,000. Y'all got me messed up. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I just wanted to update you guys on the whole seduction cosmetic situation that I went through. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to DM me on Instagram or email me. I'm going to go ahead and end this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.